What's going on, foodie fam? It's time for the Big Foodies. Happy Friday. BB Shea, Biggie, Matt. Big Foodies presented by Berkey Orthodontics, as always. Coming at you live from the Biggie's Berkey Orthodontics Kitchen Studio. And today we are discussing tacos, but the protein that goes on top of the tacos. I think everybody has a specific protein that they prefer yeah. with their tacos. Yeah, we're talking your steak, chicken, ground beef. Uh, pork, pork, all yeah. that stuff. What, what do you prefer when it comes to taco or burritos? Yes. So, and uh, I think we just did the quick, nice, easy yes. thing, picked up meat from Chipotle. Exactly. Yep. And for the sake of time and for the sake of not getting filled off of food, we're just eating the meat straight up. We don't have time to be making tacos with cheese and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just going to be eating the, the meat straight from Chipotle. They were nice enough to package it up for us like this. So every meat except the vegan option. I kind of wish I would have got it to just try it, but... Yeah, we just covered plant-based meats. Yeah. And uh, a lot of hot takes on that, by the way. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, was, tell them uh, about I it. I guess some of you are very offended by plant-based meats. Yeah. Right? No joke. <laughs> but um, I say let's just dig in. What Try. do we got on the top? Uh, right. But this this is the uh, carnitas. Okay. All right. Yeah. While we're eating, I mean, we can, I can tell you I've probably had all these one time or another. What is your go-to, though, meat for a burrito or a taco? I'm usually chicken. Like, if there's an opportunity to have chicken, I usually get chicken. That's just usually my go-to. Okay. I'm a thousand percent with you. I love chicken. And see, I didn't grow up eating chicken tacos or anything. We were a straight-up beef taco family. Same. Sure. I didn't even know chicken was an option Yeah. till later on because my mom was just like, tacos were made with ground beef. That's mm-hmm. it, period. Do you um, spicy chicken or regular chicken if it's an option? Sometimes sometimes I'll go spicy. just depends on how I'm feeling. Yeah. I will go, if it's a taco, I prefer a, uh, I would say probably a, a ground beef or a ground turkey or something like okay. that. Burrito, chicken or steak, usually chicken. Quesadilla chicken, nachos, steak and chicken. I have moved to all chicken all the time. Chicken nachos. I do like steak occasionally. Uh, Chipotle, for example. Um, if I get a bowl, I'll get a bowl with chicken and steak. Mm-hmm. Or a salad, chicken and steak. We were talking before this when we were talking about Chipotle. I'm also a big fan of a Barbaritos. There's several different chains. Um, Barbaritos, I will tend to go ground turkey and chicken because they season their ground turkey with a ton of taco seasoning, Mexican yeah. seasoning. And so it adds so much of that Mexican flavor that it's really, yeah. really good. Now, if I get a chicken dish at a Mexican restaurant, like an ACP or something, and I want a side, I'll get a beef taco. Yeah. Yeah. To the, like, double, stuff, I'm yeah. Gonna yeah. double chicken. It is what it is. But yeah, that's usually how I'll go. And for freshness, I don't think you can beat Chipotle. That's just my opinion. I, I'm with you. I, I could be, Chipotle I could be still wrong. My, always been I mean, my number one. Yeah, I think freshness is the way um, to go. Now, as far as the carnitas go, I like, I think part of this is. It, I love. I like it. It's delicious. It's just not my go-to, and I think some of that comes from being in the South. And when I think of pork, I think of pork barbecue. I yeah. mean, yeah. like uh, eating on a bun. Like to me, that was good. But I wasn't thinking burrito. I was thinking eating it on. Put a it bun. in between two buns with some salt. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. That's how. Yeah. Exactly. That's what that tastes like. Uh, next, we got the pollo asada, which is the. Uh, that's the thing that they're kind of pushing heavy right now, right? Yeah. It's kind of like the carne asada seasoning, but with chicken. They usually put on the, the pork or the steak, so. Which I know I'm going to like this. Do they use chicken thighs or chicken breasts? Chicken thighs, I think right? they do thighs, because if you see the commercial, the guy's like, yeah, it's yeah. More thigh. flipping well, the thigh. You get a little more flavor. That as way. I've learned more, more about chicken with tacos, it's chicken thigh, just much better yeah. of a meat mm. for tacos to make. A little more taste, fattier, a little more. These little are definitely chicken. seasoned up. What's all in there? Chilies, onions. Yeah. They're really good. That is a good, good boy of a That is, yeah. Now, as far as other taco toppings, you know, do you go crazy or are you kind of like a minimalist when it comes to that? Through the years, I've changed. I used to go loaded up. Yeah. Now, if the salsa or hot sauce is good, I'll put maybe a little bit of cheese. Salsa. Hot sauce, and that's what I go with now. Yeah, I've dropped even sour cream. Hmm. 
And I know I used to love, I mean, I would coat things in sour cream. But now I almost look for more of that, I want the taste of the meat. I think tacos for me is different than the other varieties that you could get at a place like a Chipotle. A taco to me, I just want the meat, little cheese, not queso, I, uh, regular I shredded know. cheese, and um, maybe some lettuce and tomato, and that's it. Maybe a salsa, depending. Yeah. But if the meat's season right, that's, I just want it the very simple. But like a burrito or nachos or something like that, I want it loaded, loaded down up. with... Jalapenos, uh, olives, jalapenos, yeah. Load it up. Give me the, give me the uh, salsa. Give me the corn. Give me the cilantro. Give me all of it on my nachos. So, like for example, I will say Chipotle has that corn salsa. Yeah. Now that I will put on about anything. That corn salsa is phenomenal. Yeah. So that's one of the things there that I do like. I do like a corn salsa. Mm-hmm. That's good when I find one, a good one. All right. Barbacoa? Barbacoa works for me. Barbacoa. Let's do it. So yeah. How'd you guys feel about I mean, I, that was a really good pollo asada. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, that was, is. That'd be something immediately I'd, I'd get, without a doubt. I always worry sometimes that it's going to be too spicy and it's going to overpower the flavor of the taco. Yeah. yeah. That's perfect Cause, spice. Because as soon as I was biting into it, I'm like, oh, is this about to get spicy? But no, yeah. it kind of, it was pretty tame. You're, you're usually my gauge. Yeah. For the spice. Yeah, that's I'll true. I'll watch how you react. I will overreact. This dude will start spice. sweating. Yeah. <laughs> Again, barbacoa, a meat that I know I'm going to like. I like. I just don't. It just... I'm right you, I think you. you just have your favorites. Yeah. It doesn't scream, put it on a taco to me. A little salty for my taste. Yeah. I don't know why I was expecting this to taste like uh, pot roast. Um, no, a little salty. A little very salty. salt. Yeah. Now, that may just be Chipotle's that particular way Chipotle. of, yeah. But see, to me, again, this isn't something that I'd... This would go good on some, uh, some nachos. Yeah, that's nachos true. Taco. Yeah, like yeah. a shredded beef on a nacho is good. Yeah, I put that on some white rice all day. Oh, yeah. Okay. Put that on some white rice and eat it regular. Mm-hmm. It doesn't, I wouldn't, I now, wouldn't that might be good on a bowl. Yeah. Like a bowl instead of a burrito. Now, a big argument, corn tortillas... Flour tortillas. Flour. All day. That's got a little kick to it. A little bit. Not crazy, but it's got a little kick. No, it's kick. got a little. Yeah. Um, I'm flour all day. Depending on the topping. Like, if I'm if I'm down with, like, loading it up with the lettuce and salsa and all the fixings, then I'll go flour. But if it's a really good meat, you'll. I like the texture of the corn tortilla. I will say this, and this is going to be healthy, Biggie, kicking in. I love flour tortillas. Love them. One of my ultimate favorites. I mean, just a sandwich wrap, taco burrito. I'd put any breakfast burrito, but I've had to go away from them because they are the worst health-wise. And so I've learned to appreciate the corn tortilla. And you're right. The meat does play a role. I find chicken is good with the because the corn tortilla has a pretty strong flavor itself. Yeah. And they have to be hot. Yep. You can't just you pull. You cannot just pull. Flour tortilla, you pull yeah. out of the bag and serve it. Yeah. It's good to go. I would always warm it up, but it's not. Corn, you have to, I guess it helps. And that kind of releases the flavor to me, too. Yeah. But you got to eat them hot. There's no yep. sitting with them, and they do fall apart. But I've learned to embrace it just yeah. for the health reasons of yeah. corn over the flour. But, God, flour tortillas, man. But I hate a flour tortilla chip. Yes. Yeah, I'll give you oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, tastes sure. too dessert. Yeah, you want yeah, a corn yeah. chip. Yeah. Corn chip all day. I love looking at this and seeing those fresh vegetables, like the peppers and the uh, cilantro, stuff like that. Cutting Reminds it up me in of there. the uh, the fresh vegetables from the berry patch. Yeah. A yes. Great place to go to the farmer's market. Love, great place to go get fresh fruits and vegetables. you imagine like some fresh veggies, fresh onion, fresh cilantro, fr- oh, just yeah. the freshness yeah. of the jalapenos yeah. that they would have at the yeah. Berry Patch in a taco. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, our friends the Berry Patch, they've been a great sponsor of the Big Foodies, located in LRB off 220. On your way to the beach, coming back from the beach, it's a great coming back from the beach last hurrah trip. They got amazing ice cream. We have did an amazing episode there a few weeks ago. Go check that out where we tried their amazing ice cream. Delicious. They're amazing fruits and vegetables. They also have pork rinds that were off the chain. Yeah. They also have this fruit dip. That oh, 
the fruit. I, could, I probably yeah. would have bathed in that if I had we the could opportunity tell. to. <laughs> you, you, you could see me go pretty wild when I when I when I eat that. So not to harp on it, but my wife got in her car the other day and reached in the back seat to grab something and pulled out a bag of their pork rinds. It was what is this? I'm like. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Leave it where it was. Just leave it there. Yeah, I've been munching on the pork rinds in the car. Yeah. Big so what? deal. Big deal. Get over Big it. deal. Want to fight about it? So, uh, yeah, thank you to the Berry Patch for supporting the Big Foodies for so long. You guys are awesome. If you're ever out that way, go check them out. Tell them the Big Foodies sent you and uh, get you something good. So, there we go. Uh, steak I figure time. We'll, yeah, steak. Because all that's pretty much left is the regular the chicken. Regular chicken. Um, I like their steak. You know, uh, it's it's good. At Chipotle again, I'll put it on a bowl. I'm not a big steak burrito person. If I'm feeling fancy, I'll get like a steak burrito. I just, the steak just ups the ante to me. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, do we know what cut of the steak this is that they use? No. What kind of question is that? I'm asking. <laughs> is it like it's, it's probably a, like a flank steak sirloin or, or flank or what is it? Yeah, probably like a flank steak or something. I would imagine. Listen, listen how bougie you are. Why don't you go? In, I'd like to actually record you going into Chipotle and asking that. It's just a fillet. <laughs> Did you trim this from the round? <laughs> has good flavor. Yeah, her steak has has always had good flavor to me. It's kind of bland. It's, uh, uh. Really? Yeah. I think it has a good steak flavor, not over seasoned. It tastes, I mean, it's not seasoned like the pollo. So, it almost yeah. tastes like something you get at a steakhouse. Yeah, exactly. Like that's yeah. that's my thing. It's like when I want to talk, I want something like. Yeah. With that, mm-hmm. with that, you know what I'm saying? It's a little. Mm. Now this is just the Chipotle normal. Yeah, it's a chicken, chicken. Yeah. which I've always thought is was cooked good in season two. So. Oh yeah. We'll see what happens. What about like if you do a taco salad? You stick Probably beef, chicken. chicken. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I always think beef when I think taco salad. Let me ask you this, and you know, of course, where we are is kind of hard, but where do you fall on? Because I love them. Fish tacos, shrimp tacos. I love a, like a like a. I know as much as I turn my nose up at spice, a spicy fish taco or, or a shrimp taco, a good fish taco. You can't beat it, man. I have grown to where I love fish tacos. If I'm down near any coast, I try to find a place mm-hmm. and get fresh, like uh, fried fish tacos. Yeah. As long as it doesn't taste too fishy, I don't mind it. But yeah. I feel like. Like with anything with seafood, if it has that overly fish fishy taste, it drowns yeah. out everything else you're eating. You're right. To That's, me, yeah. shrimp tacos are good because I like a shrimp taco because you can season those up yeah. and have that shrimp taste, but also still have that kind of that Mexican spice taste to it too. Yeah. Well, honestly, of these meats, the only one that really tastes like it's flavored to be like. Uh, that Mexican spice is the pollo asado. Yeah. The rest of these seem to just be basically seasoned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like if I ate these, if you took them out of the Chipotle bowl and just put them regular, I would just think, oh, it's just grilled chicken. So you eat these on pretty much anything. Yeah. These don't scream to me these have to be eaten on a taco. Yeah. Maybe it's the fact that you put the rest of the stuff with with the taco that makes it taste so good, but these don't taste like they're specifically seasoned to be eaten on a taco. So if you were to build, and kind of cover this, but I mean, so your base would always be, for me, it'd always be chicken. Typically, but I really like those carnitas. Give it, try something new. Yeah, so I might yeah. do that next time. I, I like that. That's, yeah. that's really good. Or the barbacoa, honestly. Like the barbacoa's yeah. got a good little kick to it. I like that. Yeah, I would, Um, I mean, if it's just like, I think you know the chicken's always going to be good. It's never going to disappoint you. Yeah, True. It's true. That Very pollo true. asado would be my go-to for Chipotle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Without a doubt. Pollo asado, then maybe the barbacoa, then the steak. Because the barbecue, to me, tastes like... It tastes like barbecue. Yeah. Which is, I mean, it was good, but it just... I guess it's also just growing up in the South. I think a barbecue on a bun yeah. was slaw, no matter for what. For sure. Yeah. All right, well, there we go. And uh, the comments, make sure you tell us your favorite taco toppings. Uh, of course, follow us, as always, on YouTube. Facebook, Instagram. We're now on TikTok. Yes. yes. We're TikTok, and you can follow the Big Foodies on TikTok as well. Uh, and, of course, we are on every single podcasting platform. You can take us with you anywhere you go. Um, so that is it. We are the Big Foodies, and we will talk to you next week.